When I lived in Alaska, I carried this 44 Magnum with me every time I went fishing. Bear protection, right? And now I've got 44 Specials and 44 Magnums and even got 4570 rifle. Well, why do I bring all that up? Well, we know how well the Black Hills Ammo Honey Badger line works for personal defense. We've shot it a lot. We've shot it in ballistic gelatin. We've tested a lot of different mediums. So 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, that's great. But what about bears? Well, and mountain lions and wolves, because a lot of people are out in the West and they're out where those predators are. Well, they have the Honey Badger in 44 Special, 44 Magnum, and the 4570 as well. Why would you use that? Well, the whole idea behind the Honey Badger is this is a solid projectile. It does not expand. It does not deform. It doesn't depend upon deformation for it to work. It's got those crazy little flutes in it, and when it goes in, it basically redirects tissue or liquids out to the side, and you end up with this amazing temporary wound cavity. When you look at all of the uh, ballistic gelatin and the, the images that we have gathered of that, you understand that it really does work. The question is, how well does this work as a bear load? Well, you're gonna get a great temporary wound cavity. You're also gonna get penetration. It's not gonna deform. It's gonna give you everything you want. So I tell you what, let's find out. We gotta shoot this out of the big 4570. We've shot the Black Hills Ammo Honey Badger loads on this show before, and it's always very impressive performance and we've always done it with handguns. So we thought this will be fun, the 4570 through a rifle. This is actually kind of a short barrel rifle, maybe something that you would carry backpacking around as a bear protection gun. So we wanted to see what type of penetration we would get. Obviously, this Honey Badger bullet has a very different design, but we'll see what it does against this water. packs a punch. I mean, you could see right when I shot this, the energy going through this. One, two, three, four jugs. And I was hoping we would catch the bullet and we did. So let's take a look at this bullet. What's kind of interesting about this, this is a 325 grain bullet. So this is a lot of weight. But what's really cool about this is, as we talked about, there is no expansion or deformation of this bullet. It holds together perfectly, even going through water, which is not a kind medium to bullets when you're testing them on water. So it hold, held together perfectly. That is a big chunk of metal. And that's what you're looking for when you're talking about taking down a big animal like a bear or a cougar or something like that. You wanna get penetration, and you wanna hit them hard. 